Well, good afternoon. It's uh, great to be here. Uh, very pleased uh, to announce that earlier today, uh, Governor Tom Corbett has awarded uh, Lancaster uh, as the first city to be designated uh, with a city revitalization and improvement zone or CRIS uh, program along with uh, Bethlehem. I'd like to thank the governor uh, very much for uh, his uh, support of uh, this idea, uh, his willingness to sign it into law as he did with the budget back in June. Uh, since then, the, the um, uh, mayor's, the mayor here, Mayor Gray, and the mayor's team have been uh, working to prepare an application that was submitted to the department to DCD, uh, and that was uh, uh, received by the department among a number of applications from other cities uh, who could uh, potentially be eligible as well. A couple of the neat things about the CRIS that should be emphasized is uh, it. It is basically the ability to fund an additional state revenue that's been produced because of economic development. It gives us the ability to use the additional state revenue. It does not raise taxes, it grows the tax base. So that number one, we're using, we're going to be able to use money that we produce through economic development to actually finance that development, which is pretty much of a capitalist idea, really. It's the way it work in the private sector. But in addition, another good message for us is that property taxes are not affected. Not affected only from the perspective that property taxes are not increased. Hopefully, in the long run, now it won't be this year or next year, or probably even the year thereafter, but in the foreseeable future, additional property tax revenue will be produced that will not be taken for this.